Well, she is the no-nonsense, brassy star of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. NeNe Leakes isn't afraid to tell it like it is, and her millions of fans love her for it. Brassy, I like that. Now yes. she's back on reality TV with her husband, turned ex-husband, turned husband again, in the new Bravo show, I Dream of NeNe, The Wedding. Greg came crawling back to Nene on his knees. You truly are the wind beneath my wings. Will you marry me again? Of course I will marry you. Well, thank you, honey. I love you. We have a second chance at love. And let me tell you, honey, it is forever. Did you hear me? Nene Lakes, good morning. Hey, Nene. Hold on a second. Greg, Greg, Greg is here. So, were you really on your knees, Greg? Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> They're still bleeding. Oh, my oh. gosh. Wow. So, you tell us the so, truth. so, you say it's forever this yeah. time, but you said it was forever the last time. What yeah. makes this time forever, forever? Well, I think this time, Greg and I are adults. The first time I married Greg, I was young. Uh, we were married for a very long time, by the years. way. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a very long time. That's like a marathon today, okay? It is. So we divorced because I felt like uh, things weren't going the way they should go. Communication wasn't the way it needed to be. I wasn't feeling loved. Greg wasn't feeling loved. And a lot of times couples just stay in relationships when they're feeling that way. Mm -hmm. I felt like a divorce was needed unless Greg was going to turn around. But what's different this time is that we're communicating better with mm -hmm. each other. Uh, we're grown. We know what we're getting ourselves into. It's not like we're kids. And I know Greg very well. So I accept a lot of his flaws. Does Whoa. he accept your flaws? Uh -oh. I mean, you gotta have you some flaws have too. Oh, you flaws, right? I have no flaws. Noticeably none. <laughs> none of, oh, yeah. Good answer. Uh, yeah. Good answer. He's good. No, He's I have good. flaws, uh -huh. and um, I think Greg accepts them as well. I asked you when you came out here, Nini, how you yeah. feeling about putting this on TV? The premieres yeah. tomorrow night. You said a little nervous about this yeah. one. How come? I'm a little nervous because this is all about Nini and my my husband and my children and my aunt, my family, and I'm just a little nervous. Uh, Greg, kids, Nini. you would meet for the first time. He has five children from his previous marriage. Um, they were never on The Housewives, ever. And um, they've never done television before, so, you know, they were kind of saying a lot of stuff that they were just saying a lot. So, a little nervous. So how is that different from The Real Housewives? The, the Nini that we got to know, Real Housewives of Atlanta, how is seeing your life and how it all plays out with your family? Well, I must say, I enjoyed working with my husband and kids doing I Dream of Nini. I really did. Working with uh, six women mm -hmm. is really different. <laughs> you don't always enjoy it, I take it. <laughs> well, you know, everybody wake up with a different personality and attitudes because they're women, so they can be difficult sometimes. So mm -hmm. that's a little different. I enjoy working with my family, though, but I also enjoy working with the girls. So I do. Word on the street is uh, you, you've got you, this time around. You've got a pretty high-end registry, and that uh, Teresa uh, Guidice from. Uh uh, New Jersey house. Judici, I think now. Uh, you know, kind of gave you something nice. She did. She, did. Uh, she gave me a beautiful gift. A lot of people are talking about the gift that she gave me. It was really, really nice. And I like nice things, and so did mm -hmm. Teresa. But uh, there was rumors that she had given me the most expensive gift, but that's not true. Mm -hmm. Actually, Judge Mathis gave me the hey. most expensive yeah. gift. Judge yeah. Mathis comes Judge up Mathis, big on the gifts, yeah, he huh? he married Greg and I. Judge. And uh, he brought a really nice gift. In fact, there's some yeah. people who question whether you should be even on a registry for a second. Mm -hmm. We've got a poll Go to the right now room, in our orange room. Let's check this out. Over there. Why show did you, you what's register going on. Why should I? I'm a bride. <laughs> you have a second wedding to the same man. Don't you have all the china and all the no. things? You don't have all that? <laughs> and she threw yeah. them at him from before. No. Uh, in fact, You broke uh, the china? <laughs> <laughs> here, here it is. Our Facebook poll. Is it okay to register for wedding gifts if it's both the bride and groom's second wedding? 66% of America said no. <laughs> Only a third said yes. What do you want what do you to think say, about that? that doesn't bother you. No, it you. doesn't. If I listened to America, I wouldn't have hair, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, in this day and time, you have to do what works for you. And I feel like I registered because I wanted to. I'm a bride. It was the second time around. I was, still was a bride. I spent more money the second time than I did the first time. And there were people who wanted to give me a gift because I waited to the very last minute to register. I registered Register like two weeks before the wedding, right. and uh, I love my gifts. And I, I'm, I'm a gift girl. I'm a girl, and I want to open up gifts. Did and Greg, I Greg get anything on that registry? Is Greg it all did you? get a couple things. A couple Greg things. got yeah. a TV. Yeah. Okay. He got yeah. a lot of things from William Sonoma. You, you know, go. those of cooking, yeah, cooking. And appliances. <laughs> yeah. nice. All right, we'll keep you happy with that. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much.